Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be talking about a discovery of a very unusual asteroid that seems to be one of the closest asteroids to our sun, and it's also really massive, so in some sense it could be potentially dangerous to Earth as well. Let's talk about this and welcome to Ademath. So the asteroid we're looking at right now is actually known as Atira. By definition, all of the Atira asteroids are always orbiting within the orbit of Earth. In other words, they are kind of like the inner belt asteroids. Currently, this is the smallest group of asteroids known to us. There's only about 21 of them that's been discovered so far. But all of them are also really, really large. As a matter of fact, they are all within about one kilometer in size and in some cases might potentially cross orbits with Earth as well. So in other words, a lot of these asteroids are actually kind of dangerous. And the main reason is not only because they orbit so close to our planet, but because when we're looking for asteroids, it's very easy for us to see asteroids that are away from the sun, mostly because we're looking at dark space. But all of the asteroids that are orbiting close to the sun are very difficult for us to detect, because basically the sun is kind of covering most of them. In other words, in order for us to detect anything in this region, we always have to look at these asteroids during twilight, basically at dawn or at dusk, when the sun is not too bright, so it allows us to kind of see some of these asteroids in the night skies. And to do this, a lot of specialized telescopes have been developed, and we also rely on a lot of um, automatic systems. One of such online systems is known as the Virtual Telescope. It's basically a remotely controlled telescope that's uh, controlled via the internet, created by the discoverer of this new asteroid, an Italian researcher by the name of Gianluca Messi. And as you can see from this picture, he got really lucky recently and discovered this asteroid that you see on the screen. This is currently known as 2020 AV2, and 2020 is obviously the year when it was discovered. And what makes this asteroid very unusual compared to all of the previous Atira asteroids is that it seems to be actually within the orbit of Venus. In other words, it seems to always orbit within this circle here, approaching Venus and Mercury once in a while. This also currently makes this asteroid the second closest asteroid to our Sun, slightly beat by the previous discovery from 2019, the asteroid 2019 LF6. But unlike this asteroid, the new discovered asteroid does not have this eccentric orbit. As a matter of fact, from all of the uh, so-called Atira asteroids we've discovered, most of them seem to possess very, very eccentric orbits, and some of them even have eccentricity that's nearly 97%, making it some of the most eccentric objects in the solar system except for certain comets. Now, a lot of them actually leave really, really far, almost reaching Jupiter, and then come back close to the Sun. But unlike all of these other eccentric asteroids, what seems to be unusual about the new discovery is that its orbit is a lot more circular than other asteroids. Here, the eccentricity of 2020 AV2 is only about 17%, and it basically kind of goes in between the orbit of Mercury and the orbit of Venus. But the thing is, it also never really approaches either planet really close. The closest distance that it gets to is about 10 million kilometers, which creates a lot of really interesting questions. One of them is, of course, how did it even get here? What caused this asteroid to assume this orbit? And the second question is, of course, well, we think that this is not a stable orbit. So what is going to happen to this asteroid eventually? The current size estimates suggest that this is anywhere from about 1 to maybe 3 kilometers in diameter, making this a relatively large rock. And if you've watched some of the previous videos, you might also remember that in the last year we've discovered at least 3 craters on our planet that were created by rocks that are very very similar in size to this. The most recent discovery coming from the Lao of a large crater that's about 15 kilometers in diameter was actually created by something similar to this. This of course doesn't really give us any comfort because it just means that these rocks are still out there, a lot of them do collide with our planet, and one of them might eventually make its way toward Earth and collide with it as well. Although currently we don't think that it's going to be this specific asteroid. As a matter of fact, it has a much higher chance to collide with Venus right now than it does with planet Earth. But the other major mystery is of course in regards to its low eccentricity and the fact that it never actually crosses the orbit of Venus, it never really comes close to orbit of Earth at all. What exactly caused it to have such an unusual orbit and 
More importantly, um, are there other asteroids that are similar to this somewhere else hiding in this region? And this is of course a very important question for us to answer because we need to understand how these asteroids form and what makes them assume these orbits. These Atira asteroids, or I guess in some sense you can also call them the Twilight asteroids because they can only be visible when it's twilight on Earth, are probably some of the more dangerous asteroids out there. And the two main reasons are of course that we can't really see them very easily, they can come from out of nowhere, and the second reason is because they get to approach both Venus and Mercury much more frequently. A single year here only takes about 150 days, meaning that every 150 days this asteroid has a chance to slightly shift um, its orbit, and then that orbit can accidentally cross with any of the planets in the solar system. And since we've already found three different craters on the planet that were created by similar asteroids within the last three million years or so, this kind of makes it really important for us to understand. Could these craters have been created by these unusual Atira asteroids? And obviously if the material here matches to the one on the planet Earth, then it's very likely that these are the main culprits behind all of the collisions. Maybe these asteroids are the ones we should be actually watching more carefully. So all of this is really important for us to understand in order to basically protect our own civilization. On the other hand, we also would like to find out how many of these asteroids are located in these regions. It's very unlikely that we're going to discover something similar to an asteroid belt with hundreds of thousands different asteroids, but nevertheless there could be a lot of rocks hiding in this region, many of which could potentially be dangerous to planet Earth as well. But one of the more immediate mysteries is of course in regards to its unusual orbit. It's the only asteroid that has such an unusual low eccentricity orbit that doesn't really come to um, any major planet, which means that we need to study this in a little bit more detail. The only current explanation for how it got its orbit is by possibly passing next to some sort of a planet, possibly even Jupiter, which took it closer to the Sun, and then through the action of the so-called Kozai mechanism, which I explained about four years ago in the video that you can find somewhere above my head right now, the orbit of this asteroid eventually shifted, making it look the way that it does today. But I guess the scary part here is that Kozai mechanism never stops acting. As a matter of fact, it's very likely going to shift the orbit again with time, suggesting that at some point the asteroid will either get a much closer orbit to the Sun, or it might actually increase its eccentricity once again and start crossing planet Earth's orbit, which is something we don't really want asteroids to do. And I guess if we're lucky enough, this asteroid will one day hit another planet, but at this point it's probably going to be either Mercury or Venus. It's currently not really estimated to hit anything, but if the Kozai mechanism shifts the orbit of this asteroid enough, it will definitely cross the path with one of the planets, creating a relatively large collision, which we could then of course use to study what happens when these asteroids collide with planets like Earth. Hopefully by not actually having it collide with Earth, of course. Currently, our understanding of the effects of asteroids on planets is actually not really that advanced. We know they do something to the climate, for example, we're just not entirely sure what. And we know many collisions have happened in the past. So by using other planets as a kind of an experimental box or experimental lab, we'll definitely be able to understand the effects of asteroid collisions and of course learn to prevent them in the future as well. But on that note, that's really all we know about this unusual discovery for now. It's a very strange asteroid, we definitely want to learn more about it, but since it was just discovered, there's nothing else to say. Once we learn something else unusual about this asteroid, I'll make sure to follow this up with another video. For now, that's really it. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you still haven't, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, maybe support this channel Patreon because it does help me quite a lot, and most importantly come back tomorrow to learn something you may have not known before. I'll see you tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye-bye.